do 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 Taylor Watch. Welcome back to another episode of Taylor Yay. Watch. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I am hating my Monday today. Ooh. I'm Garfield, big time. Oh I hate Mondays. God. Not feeling it right now. I'm in a mood that's like. Are you in your follicular phase? I am in the follicular phase, <laughs> but usually that's nice. Usually oh. it's like, oh, for the it, it's for the better. You know oh. what I mean? Like it's the it's the, the swinging good of the pendulum. Mm. But um, I'm not quite all the way there yet, so I'm in a sour mood. I hate Ugh. my outfit. I hate my hair. I hate my face. I hate my life. Like it's that that kind of day. I get today. you. I you get your saying? vibe. But if if it makes you feel any better, I love I your outfit day. and I love your hair. Thank you. And I love you. I am wearing a cute shirt though. I'm I'm wearing a drop everything now. Meet me in the pouring rain. Wait, yeah, that's so cute. Etsy, Etsy purchase. You love an Etsy. I love an Etsy. Purchase. I love Etsy. Yeah. But it's you know why? Because um, they just have the cutest shit. Support people, small businesses. The people make the best stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, yeah. so uh, and Etsy. I, I don't know how those people do it though. I don't know how they don't get sued. Like, how do you not get sued for this T-shirt? I think there's probably just so many that it's, it's too like, much. You'd it's have like to do, we just gotta yeah. lose. Like you can't like really pick and choose. Like yeah. if you're gonna do one. If you're gonna see and D one person, you gotta see and D them all. That's what I'm saying. It's everybody on earth is is doing the shit. But anyway, yeah. um, what's going on, JG? You had a you had a good weekend. I did and have I'd a like good weekend. About it. Yes, I'd I, like to I'm hear feeling about quite it. refreshed. Ooh. I'm feeling nice. Um, Thursday, I went to the Noah Khan mm-hmm. Mount Joy concert, which is with my brother. Which is funny. We thought it was Noah Khan Mount Joy combo concert. Oh, and it was just Mount Joy opened for noah and then oh. noah played so oh my we god were a little confused interesting because um i i don't know you know i don't know the fame level of mount joy i think i think they are more famous maybe because i know you're a huge yes. fan your sister's a yes. big fan you guys go to all their shows are they I, like i would have put them based on how you guys talk about them i would have put mount joy and noah khan on like the same fame level you know whatever not quite you know not i there. thought that too yeah. until thursday i was like until whoa noah show. is so yeah. much more famous i love him i just love, love him. him i think he's, he's so excellent. funny so talented so very down to earth um, great singer yeah oh god he put on such a great show our girl gracie abrams came out right and I, I forgot about gracie Ooh, yeah, did she so sing good. what did she sing everything everywhere they oh, did okay. a, good song. he did like a whole version of his album with like collabs right so she did everything everywhere with him on Excellent. the album so she came out and then the lumineers came out oh for uh, if we were vampires I which is their love collab the song. yeah yeah love the lumineers mm-hmm. um so it was just all around a great 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 night that sounds amazing um, shout out to mount joy for hooking us up they always are so great to us me and my brother and my sister they're yeah, just yeah, the nicest yeah. people ever um well they know you guys love them you're loyal fans very loyal yeah it. this was like my sixth time seeing them Ooh. it's funny because they brought out uh noah khan at one of the shows that i went to at pier 17 right and they're like oh this is oh, noah yeah. and i was like oh i don't really know him like I, I i think i know him from tiktok whatever and then like he a year Stick later season. two years later mm-hmm. now they're opening for him that is crazy so it's funny it's That's so crazy. crazy yeah his noah khan's rise is equal to that of like a uh, Sabrina Carpenter Chapel Roan like he's he's holding it down for the guys totally. you know what I mean yeah like yeah he is holding it down and he's such a nice like he's you know I don't think he's like playing it a certain way but he's playing it right like he's a yeah. humble guy he's yeah. a nice guy he's extremely thankful to the crowds to his fans he can't ever believe anybody's showing up <laughs> to yeah. see him similar to when we saw Niall and yeah, I was yeah. like I can't believe I used to be sold on MSG Noah said the same thing and um, I think it's wonderful. It just goes to show humility gets you a long way. Totally. Long, if you're not a, you know, I love a, I love a diva, you know, mess of a of star. Yes. You know, don't get me wrong. But if you want to be beloved, you just got to be humble. Yeah. Gotta stay humble. Be nice. Stay humble, don't talk shit nice. about the fans or to the fans. You yeah. Know, he really doesn't do that. I don't think. Yeah. Or, no. You know, anything like that. But um, I am at the same time. You went to, you also went to Mother's Vineyard, right? Yes, yeah, yes. That looked lovely. It was, was so, so, I so I beautiful. The, I uh, the, the weather was perfect. Good vibes. Went to, my parents and my brother work at the flea market on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So uh, me and my dad went to go visit them on Saturday to the flea market. Went to the farm. Cute. Got some fresh goodies. Yum. Yeah, very good. Stuff, good dinners. Stuff, yeah. Um, we got really good, like, fresh pesto. Oh, yum. Some, Ooh. like, um, garlic, spicy cucumbers, Ooh. fresh red onion, the blueberries, <gasps> unbelievable. Out of control. Best blueberries blueberry I've season? ever had. Them. I don't know. Blueberry season. I think it's summer. Probably berry season is usually yeah, summer. Yeah, I know for raspberry sure. season is like July, June, July Got because it. whenever I come to Martha's Vineyard in August, all the raspberries would be gone. Right. But right. 
it was like eating Sour Patch Kids. They were like, ooh, ooh. so yummy and tart. It was mm. so good. Yeah. I haven't had a, a bloob in a while. Yeah. A my, 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 my parents are big bloob people. Always yeah. blueberries and strawberries. Love a bloob. But you can really tell the difference between like a supermarket bloob and, oh, a, yeah. and a fresh bloob. Oh, yeah. That that I know as much. thing about the blueberries is um, they always are looking like wine grapes to me. Red mm. wine grapes look just like blueberries. Yeah, they do. Kind of. Like they, if you put them next to each other, you're like, hmm, you can yeah. tell. But like they look they look very similar. Um, it's almost tomato season. I know tomatoes have been running. Tomatoes are a, a staple of every summer. And yes, I am fresh off a uh, fresh off a vacation in Greece where all I ate was tomatoes like mm. the entire time. But August, Jersey tomatoes, fucking it's Ooh, tomato season. Oh my God, I'm so excited yep. for a fucking heirloom. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That it's heirloom tomato. Like, I that love. Is, this is the time. We're about to be in the time of yeah. like, the best tomatoes of your life. So yeah. you got to get your hands on it. It is kind of crazy that like New Jersey, you really don't think about it, but... The corn, sweet the corn, tomatoes. Yeah, sweet corn and tomatoes. Oh, we do it okay, right. Next Nobody level. does it better. No yeah. one. I've been to a lot of places and no one has a better tomato. Even Greece doesn't have a better tomato yeah, than yeah. fucking New Jersey. I, I'm I totally you. agree with that. The heirloom, the heirloom tomatoes are just next, next level. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited for mm-hmm. that. Me too, me too. Um, I did a whole lot of nothing. I visited with some friends. That Ooh. was lovely. And I slept. I slept a lot. Good another, for you. That's, another what, I, sleepy that's what I did last weekend. Yeah. I also did it last weekend. I've just been sleeping my fucking face off. It's like, is it something in the air? I'm tired it is. all the I'm time. I'm tired. I'm tired. And I'm trying to, listen, I am in... I'm in a bad mood, but it's not like a, a directed at anyone. I'm just like my resting state is bad mood. I guess so. That. I'm trying to pull myself out of it. But sometimes the only way to get get through that is to complain about it, and that's what I'm complaining that's about. That's the right story now. of my life. So I've been in a bad mood. I was in a bad mood on the weekend. I uh, try to think if I like left Did the house. You oh, you know what I had say. to do? Oh my fucking god! I can't believe this. I I had to go to Spectrum because my oh, Wi-Fi went no. out, and I was like, oh no, not my Wi-Fi. Let me unplug it and plug it back in. Blow on it. You know, everybody knows yeah. Nintendo 64. It's how we used to do. Didn't work. Uh, my modem was broken, and I had to go to Spectrum and like exchange my modem. Oh. Can't believe I had to walk to a place in public. Thankfully, it took like two <laughs> seconds. You know, like yeah. it's like when do I have to go to a store for something like this? I like, just right. call somebody on the phone. But I had to go exchange it. Really, only yeah. took two minutes, and it would have taken one minute if they didn't spend half the time trying to convince me to switch my cell phone service they to always, Spectrum. I'm like, I was what like, world do you think I'm going to use Spectrum? Like, as are my- you out of your mind? <laughs> I was like, I and honestly, in that moment, I was like, I'm returning a piece of broken. Yeah. Mm. Uh, broken, so true. like whatever the fuck. Yeah, modem. Uh, modem, like a router. Hardware. I'm returning a piece of broken hardware right mm. now, and you're going to try to sell me, upsell me right now? It's just not the time. You Crazy. know what I mean? It's just not the time. So that was that. Got to hang out with a few kids this weekend, children. I know. I know. Pause. I was with a baby. I was with a, I know. <laughs> I was with a baby and like a four year, three year, four year old. Oh, because uh, didn't your friend? It's my friend's. I, my I friend's niece. I think I saw. Yeah, yeah, baby. yeah, yeah. I think and, I saw on your story. Uh, so I visited with them a little bit. Okay, yes, yes. That's fun. Sweet Millie. It's Millie girl. It was like we blew bubbles for a while. That's cute. It was lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was being really funny about it. I said that all the bubbles are like, because they're New York bubbles. And mm. I was like, they're like, I'm out of here. <laughs> so every time they'd fly up over the thing, I'd say, I'm out of here. That's funny. And I did that for like an hour. That's so, hilarious. It was good. And oh, so I now, love playing with now kids. Now I'm really good at taking care of kids. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like we both maybe come off as people that don't have like a maternal bone, but like oh, yeah, I feel like sure. we both are very good with kids Extremely. and dogs and, and yeah. little animals and stuff. Absolutely. Very shockingly caring. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't think, like you think I'd be bored and like a bitch about it, but it's like, oh no, no, I'm like, I'm like the, uh, people call yeah. me a babysitter, you know, like I'm right. not a, I'm, I'm that bitch. But, um. I just, I, you know, the, the weekends go by, the days go by, uh, the summer is coming and going, and I'm in that middle of summer where it's like, I don't want summer to end, so mm. in protest, I'm just going to be depressed and sit on my couch and stare wistfully outside, mm. I think is like what's going on. And so, to be honest, Jay, I don't know how how Taylor feels at the moment, because uh, she's got to be depressed soon, 10 more shows. I know, I know, I wonder if she's depressed or if she's like... She's got that summertime sadness times 10, literally, yeah, figuratively. Yeah, but I wonder... I wonder if she's like almost relieved like i'm so sure she's true. sad so true like hate to see you h- hate to see you go but love to, but watch, love you to leave. watch you leave you know yeah, yeah like mm-hmm. she had a she run, had a run i think if she did another like six month of touring like that's just so draining it's like, a lot i i feel like at the end it'll be a good goodbye mm-hmm. it'll be very sad mm-hmm. but i feel like she'll finally be like oh like this is 
But who knows? Because she does. She's a busy bee. She loves to work. She loves to be busy. But yeah. here's the thing: everybody needs a break. Okay. Yeah, everyone and, needs a break. And she does have a break coming up. We've got uh, we have ten shows left in total. Five left in the UK, London. Yep. All five will be in London coming. Up. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm lying. No, I'm we lying. have Hamburg, we have Hamburg, and Munich, and 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 Warsaw. Warsaw. Yeah. There's a couple. Well, am I stupid? Why are there really only ten shows left? That doesn't seem right. Let me look at Swift Alert. Because I saw that tweet too that was like there's only 10 shows left but it doesn't feel like that's enough shows. Let's see. She has Hamburg Night 1 which is technically today but it's tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Hamburg Night 2. Munich Night 1 so that's 4. Hamburg, Munich Night 2 is 4. Yeah. Okay, wait, let me count. I can just count here. Whoa, it seems a lot more like 10. It's way more than 10. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe it's only 10 more stops. Could be. Hamburg, Could be. Munich, Warsaw, Vienna, London, Miami, mm-hmm. New Orleans, Indianapolis, Toronto, Vancouver. So it is okay, only it's 10, ten more stops. stops. But Listen, everybody on Swifty Twitter is just trying to don't rush the end of the Eras tour. This because is why we, we fact check. This is why we fact check in real time. <laughs> yeah. Because this is crazy. Like I because I saw that same thing. You said, oh, there's only 10 shows left. And I saw that same like tweet or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, wow, damn, I can't believe it's really coming down to it. Like whatever. And I really didn't think much about it. More. But now that I'm now that we're, you know, researching a little bit more, there's like 20 Seven, shows eight, left at least. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. We have so 29. many yeah, shows over left. 30. We have so many yeah, fucking so shows, many shows left. left. Everybody needs to cool your fucking jets, okay? okay 10 yeah. more stops, yes. That was crazy. I was like, 10 more shows. No, no, no. Like, that would have been, like, I, I started having a little bit of a panic, like a tightness in my chest. I yeah. was like, wow, only 10 more shows. Like, what are we going to do? But um, no, plenty of shows left, plenty of time left excitement is on the horizon we have hamburg munich mm-hmm. warsaw vienna all leading up until these big london shows that everyone is just like you know people won't stop talking about the london shows gia yeah they won't stop talking about it and everybody thinks you know it's going to be some sort of announcement one way or another we've got a few more theories going on which we'll get into um but i would say generally speaking i am not ready uh, at this point in time, I'm not ready for Aerosaur to be over yet. Like, no. it's, I'm hanging on by a thread. No, and, and I'm not I need ready it for to it. stay. Are I you ready for stay. it? I'm not ready for I'm it. I'm not ready for yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not it, ready for it. It'll be really sad. Like, I feel like there's been so much fun mm-hmm. things to come out of the tour. I mean, mm-hmm. this this show we're not going anywhere also by the way but um oh yeah we talked about that a yeah couple weeks ago. but yeah, just yeah, we're not going anywhere. like the the games and looking at the outfits and the surprise songs and all that stuff like it's just a fun thing to kind of pay attention to throughout the day gives yeah. you something to be interested in all the time yeah and yeah it'll be really it's it's sad and we better go to one more fucking show because we have to Jake. Like, that's you what i'm saying say like, like i need say something bye no we didn't say goodbye we yeah, did not you know? say goodbye yeah. we were too like wrapped up in the moment we didn't say goodbye i didn't yeah. soak it in i we didn't sit in our seats at the end with the lights on and cry like yeah yeah i, I need those things yeah. We need those things and we will make it to one um people are saying that she is going to be well obviously she's in miami um it's Miami, New Orleans, and Indianapolis yeah. are the only three. Okay, okay. I think Miami's our, our option. We keep I talking know. about New it. New Orleans would be fucking sick, though. I've never been there, you know. No, New neither or- have I. New Orleans. That would I would be love fun. to go there. Should we I try? I think our girl Ainsley's going there for her 21st she birthday. She said that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 21st yeah. birthday, New Orleans, Taylor Swift. So fun. Fucking sick. So fun. Really the only awesome. thing is, I don't know if I could handle Bourbon Street. I could. But I, I think would, maybe I, I could th- do it. You know it. what would happen to you? I might pull my boobs out. Oh, <laughs> oh. Well, oh, hey, I mean, that's oh, the one time to do that's it. what everybody does. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It, it feels too... Um, I'm too self-conscious about my boobs. Yeah. Oh, we'll say If I was really but drunk. But I'm hammered. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, I, that's the only way I'm pulling these titties out is if I'm hammered. <laughs> but like, but I anticipate... You know what I'm saying. Yes. But I but I yeah. anticipate being... Like, if I were to go on Bourbon Street being so drunk, because oh, that's yeah. just the I would big, have to be blacked whatever. out. Although now, I don't know. Like, it might, have be, it might have become too popular in the way of, like, everyone goes there now and... You know, you maybe have to keep your wits about you on yeah. the street more than like, oh, it's just a fun place where I everybody know, drinks in the street. Like I'm it's like, more like, be you know, a wear, a, wear a cross body and like protect your belongings yeah. type and spot. And like buddy system type buddy of thing. Buddy system. Don't get roofied. A bunch of like boys, I worry about yeah. those things. A bunch of boys went to Bourbon Street that we work with because yeah. the uh, Super Bowl was there a couple of years ago. and. Mm. They were saying that it was fucking crazy that like there was just like snake people holding snakes people like love fucking that. people like that's, sucking yeah. dick like that's it a was lot. crazy yeah it's very uh, it's a lot of casual sex stuff floating mm. around and that's tough but yeah. um, not a, not a fan of that I would go to any though again I'm not I'm not discriminating I am not 
saying no to any opportunity that hmm. arises. Yeah. Maybe we should start being a little more proactive about that. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I know, that's what I, I need know, we to should turn be. this mood around is like buy more Taylor Swift tickets, you know? Like it may the be the only thing that can way help to me. make us feel better is I'm if gonna, we buy more Taylor exactly. Swift tickets. Exactly. I'm at a point, so I've said this before many a time that uh that Taylor and I are um W- w- there's something mm. w- we're in tune with each other in some way whether it's our Sagittarius connection whether it's the fact that our birthdays are a mere 13 days apart you know things to think you both about have bangs. both have bangs like there's a lot of similarities yeah. and just a lot of things that, you know w- we're, we're really paired up mm. and so um, I'm wondering you know oh, Gia I don't know where I was going with that I got lost talking about myself and oh, Taylor well, Swift's I connection. I thought you were going to go with your little Horcrux. Well, I was going to talk about the Horcruxes, but I was going to oh. talk about something else before that. Oh, what were we talking about? Am I Taylor's- okay? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly didn't really know like, where you were going. Am I, I okay? I, I thought think you I was, were going, I was to going off the, the beaten path. I was going to bring up the Horcruxes, but I was going off the beaten path. We're talking about New Orleans. We're talking about Taylor Swift. The connection? Or, talking or about what, connections. Are you talking about the, um, were you trying to bring up? Um, oh, oh, oh. Your, I remember. Your, your poem? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm always trying to bring up the poem. And yes, that is another thing. That's another thing, oh, okay, another place okay, that we're okay. connected. Okay, I remember okay. that. I remember. Okay. So I've said over time is that Taylor, <laughs> I love bringing up the poem. <laughs> Taylor is always putting out something or like releasing something mm. or whatever, like when I really need it. Like right. either I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling heartbroken. I'm feeling, you know, happy and I want an album that goes with it. Like it's just always somehow tied in with my like actual life. Right. But, um, I'm at the point where, like, maybe she's given me so much in my time of need that now in my time of need, like, right now I'm feeling blah. Like, I'm like, well, where, where's this bitch to, like, pick me back up? Mm. Like, I need something right now, you know? I, I know. I'm, uh, am, I I being like a, maybe, am I being, like, a greedy addict? If, like, that's if, what it sounds like. If Tortured Poets came out, like, right now, yeah, maybe that'd be what great. a big good timing for you. That'd be great. No, but, maybe. Well, but I needed it when it came out. Is what oh, I'm saying. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. I'm being greedy at this point. Like so you need, she you gave say you me. Need more. I need more. The crowd, are, crowds are chanting more. Shit. And it's me. I need more. Well, what you need is reputation need? Taylor's version. That is what I need, and yeah. that's always what I've needed. And everyone knows that. Wait, speaking of, did you see that cute? I sent it to you. That cutie video of that little baby Lucy, who is, um, who before she was born. Her parents yes. got her a reputation bodysuit. Yeah, and they're like, and they're like, Reb TV won't come out until she fits, until she can <laughs> fits in this. Yeah. And she's like a couple months off from fitting in it. So yeah. they issued a public apology. They're like, we're this is a public apology to the Swifties. Like Lucy can't quite fit in her reputation bodysuit yet, which is exactly why Taylor yeah. hasn't put it out yet. Obviously, and I forgive Lucy. Mm-hmm. However, um, but it does you know bring some things into light. Like thank God, you yeah, know, like, yeah. thank God we have a we have a reason as to why it's not here. Thank God my my personal reputation you know is personally in the shit you know it's just like let's let's get it moving okay mm. i need to get it going okay yeah i, I agree it. i agree i'm being greedy yeah i just i feel like we've i said this before but torture poets uh, i still love it so much mm-hmm. but it just really didn't fit what i need in my what life you needed right at now. the time yeah. yeah 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 i do feel like i i kind of have always been on a similar mm-hmm uh, life event trajectory trajectory as mm-hmm. Taylor when she puts out albums it kind of always fits into what's going on but yeah. but it happened with Midnight's and it's kind of happened with Torture Poets I feel like in like six months when the winter comes totally. I'm going to come back to Torture Poets and be like this is my album Torture Poets in the winter time I might not yeah, survive I know I'm scared I might not survive I'm scared it's going to be great but it's going to be um, great it's going to really hit harder I think mm-hmm. um, but yeah same with Midnight's like it just didn't really hit for me when I thought that I needed it but little did I know that I needed it yeah I just didn't know at the time you know so that's Taylor just like for 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 that's always she just wants to make sure that you're always covered and like I said because we're so connected in every single way um, you know we're on the same timeline ourselves so like she's probably feeling the same that, uh, that I'm feeling mm, you right. know like she also needs to process this and so once she finally does she'll be able to lift us both right up. like she brings all our friends to the summit so that's the thing very excited about that it's just so interesting to see how this the events plan out with the releasing and the announcements and stuff like i i at this point i'm kind of just like all right whatever happens happens Mm -hmm. the theories are fun to look at but i'm not really paying attention to anything too much anymore Mm -hmm. um now i'm just kind of more just excited because it like you no one knows what's gonna happen no one knows what's gonna happen but that also does lead us into the uh the latest theory which Mm. i do enjoy and i'm in the middle of right now maybe that's why my why my brain's a little scattered my mind may be still on this blog that i'm writing which is comparing 
Harry Potter Horcruxes mm. to Taylor Swift's album re-releases. Mm. And someone put out a little theory that was like, she referenced Horcruxes in her Time Magazine interview back in December. Right. Said, I'm collecting Horcruxes, or I'm collecting Infinity, Infinity Stones, I'm, you know, Horcruxes, whatever. Yeah. She said both those things. And um, the last two, for Harry Potter fans, people who aren't fans... A Horcrux is a. Uh, I feel stupid for explaining it, but I forget that not everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about it like it's a regular thing. Yeah. But it's for those who haven't seen the movie. It's like a uh, an object or something that Voldemort, the bad guy, hit a piece of his soul in so that he can never actually die. If he's killed, he's still got a little. He's got a little something on reserve, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, Harry Potter's job is to find all these Horcruxes and destroy them so he can finally destroy Voldemort like once and for all. Right. And uh, the last two Horcruxes that need to be destroyed are... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> are Harry himself mm. had a piece of Voldemort inside of him he didn't even know about until the last what? second. What? And Voldemort's snake, snake. pet named yeah. Nagini. And so it's like, you, you know, a snake and himself, your name, your reputation. So people mm-hmm. are thinking like, okay, is are the last two album, you know, we're, we're, we have that. The last two albums that are left are debut and reputation. It would make sense for the Harry Potter, you know, Nagini the snake narrative. Um, and I'm, I've decided to expand on that. So if you're interested in, in seeing all that, comparing mm. all of the previously re-recorded albums to different Horcruxes and Harry Potter, and also, um, you know, my thoughts and feelings on the final order of things, then I am writing a big blog about that. But in the meantime, I will say that for those who don't know, Harry Potter uh, gets rid of his own Horcrux inside of himself before the snake is dead. That, I think, is the biggest takeaway. Okay. So for me, if she is pairing up with Horcruxes, and that was some kind of thing, debut comes first. Mm, Okay. So, and that would make sense with all the green. And we've got the green, the man jacket, you know, that we maybe saw. Or was it a a karma jacket no one knows at this point? Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, I don't know. And I think that we've all been we've been very uh, curious about that. Are we getting them at the same time? Are we getting them? You know, when are we getting them? Another thing that people are pointing out mm. is that um, these two things, Harry destroying the Horcrux of himself and Nagini the snake, those both happened within like an hour of each other. So people oh, are now being like, she's going to put them out on the same day. I still don't think that. Though. Yeah, I know. We've talked about that. I know, yeah, we've talked I, about I don't it. Really, I don't necessarily think it. Yeah, it just feels like it would be taking away from debut because Agree. everyone cares more about reputation than debut. Agree. And but, reputation does feel like a stunning finale. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. And with New Year's Day on the track list, so it makes more sense to come out in December. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just... I'm singing a different tune now. I thought for sure rep would come out first, but now I'm I am I'm starting to sing a different tune, and I think that maybe this Horcrux um, metaphor slash comparison may have a hand in it. I love that. So I uh, love ta- the Taylor Swift Harry Potter crossover. Yeah, me too. So is much. she a Potterhead? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I didn't know that. She's got a picture with J.K. Rowling. Don't tell anybody. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Like a selfie from like yeah, who knows from, from, from when. so long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I never. She always, of course, it doesn't surprise me at all that she's yeah. a Harry Potter fan. But I, I just don't ever remember seeing her like talk about it or anything. So I think I that might have been the I'm first time. Crossover. I think that might have. No, it's not. It's not the first time she's talked about it. But I definitely the first time she's like put it in an interview. Like the yeah, time yeah. I was interview was massive for her to be like referencing but of course she's referencing Harry Potter because she likes that and then she's got you know Marvel on the, on the phone at the same time yeah. with the Avengers Infinity you know, Stones, Infinity Stones like, whatever it's interesting because the colors of the Infinity Stones like are the same colors yeah. as like each album yeah. drop um, there was like some sort of comparison I think in uh, one of the music videos one of the reputation the music no, I think it was. What's the What's the music video where she's wearing the tiger shirt? It's Reputation. Reputation. That's uh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Yeah, um, yeah. There's like stones in the background and like they oh, look yeah, like I the saw Infinity that. That's stones. Right, that's right. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. Interesting. And, you stuff. know, it's always like I'm 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 looking and I'm like I'm oh, okay and then I just keep scrolling like it's in kind of in one ear out the other for sure. But well, there's so many theories flying around at all times and it's like and you can draw these conclusions you can like bring these things back yeah it's you know, fun you just pick up. and choose which ones you like yeah. and which ones you don't like yeah. <laughs> yeah because obviously when reputation came out she didn't predict the fact that she was gonna have to later like claim it back so like there totally. aren't like anybody trying to connect things with like and in this album wow she's like hinting at this it's like no 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 like these are this is a totally different yeah. different thing so you know um, whatever you see, you can maybe draw some invisible strings, but in reality, not not quite the case. Yeah. Um, 
I think that the the Harry Potter theory is good. I think that the um, the theory of London still kind of holds up announcing something right before a big break. She's yeah. got a couple months off. Um, because and she'll probably in that time off go see Travis uh, you know perform on his stage yay Travis is back at training camp looking hot looking as ever looking hot as ever he's got his Mama Tom Selleck Mia. mustache going on God oh baby damn with that mustache God and the damn. long hair Ooh. Ooh, stop it okay Ooh, Trav quit it quit it quit God, it God he looks so good he's being funny he's talking with everybody having a good time but, yeah. but we have to remember as he is he is America's boyfriend but he also is um, a professional football player, mm. and he's got to get down to business, and he's got to maybe win another Super Bowl. So you know, right? Right? Of course, he's got to. So he's well. We just have to if keep the Eagles don't win, true. Sorry, yeah, true. Sorry. Right, right, right. We're at the point where right. Yeah. It could, it's anybody's game. Yeah, yeah. It's anybody's <laughs> game. Um. Oh my God. Speaking of America's boyfriend, I don't know how I left out the most important and exciting part of my entire weekend, oh. as if I like did nothing. I saw Twisters this weekend. And it was amazing. Uh, I need to see it. Glenn Powell love is why Glenn I Powell. mentioned America's Glenn boyfriend. Powell summer. Oh my god! It's so funny how chicks it. in the office like they're friends with they're him. Like, like they've had him, him on the show a bunch of times, and like now he's finally getting his flowers, and I love it because he's always been so awesome. I loved him in um, Scream Queens. Of course, are you kidding? Iconic Chad. Chad Thadwell or yeah, whatever. Chad yeah, Chad Thadwell, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So funny. Oh, so good. Always he said, so did you funny. see? He said he's be, he'd be willing to reprise his role oh, as Chad. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, in Scream Queens. They gotta get, we gotta get back on the books for Scream Queens. I fucking love Scream Queens. I, I only really liked done the, it in years. I never watched it after the first season. Oh, I loved season. it all. I loved yeah. it all. I just, you know, I'm, I'm into a, a Ryan Murphy, like, mm. hyper camp. Yeah, kinda, yeah. Kind of horror show. Yeah. Love that shit. But um, Twisters was a really really good movie it's a it's like a a fun summer blockbuster a movie yeah, theater yeah. experience a thing to go and enjoy yourself i went at 10 a.m on saturday morning <laughs> i woke up at 9 30 hell yeah and, or like 9 15 and you know i was sitting in bed i'm like it's saturday what am i gonna do i wasn't going to my friends until way later on and i was like oh you know we'll see and then um i actually saw feddeberg tweeting about mm. twisters i don't know when he saw it maybe the night before and i was like you know what I'm going to go see it. Yeah. And I saw this at 10 o'clock show. I said, what else am I going to do? Sit in my bed and smoke weed on my phone the whole time? I might Hell as well yeah. go to the movies. And so, I, you know, I live close. Went there. I got myself popcorn and a soda. Didn't care about the time. Hell yeah. And, uh, and I, boy, oh boy, did I enjoy myself. I Great am time. a number one lover of going to the movies by myself. Obsessed. Love I love going it. to the movies by myself. I almost prefer myself. it, to be honest. I prefer it. Yeah. My sister got mad at me because I didn't go see <laughs> a movie with her. I forget what movie it was. It, uh, was, um, it was Challengers and we saw it. Oh, me yeah, and Fran saw it together. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was so mad. And I was like, I just. I, it, I like to just go by myself. Then I, I don't have to worry about anyone else's pace. I go into the theater when I want. Yeah. You know, I don't have to worry about any side comments. Maybe mm. it's the other person didn't like the movie and I did. Or if I liked the movie and the other person didn't. True, panic. You just, your own opinion is your own opinion. You don't get skewed any other way. And then you just sit there, enjoy yourself, and then go home. Yeah. Do you think that uh, Taylor Swift likes Glenn Powell? I feel like she like would be... Like more than a friend or just in general? No, 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 no. Like as a... <laughs> <laughs> yes, more than a friend. Well, the connection, of course, is Daisy Edgar Jones, who's also yes. in Twisters. Excellent. I, I, God, I love her she so much. She is in the... Uh, Normal People. Sally Rooney Universe. Sally Rooney yeah. Universe. That friend Paul group, Mescal. whatever. Paul, yep, yep. You know, dare I say it, Joe. And yep. um, all, all that's going on. And I think the, the likelihood that we see... You know, and Glenn Powell is from Texas, and he's like a country boy, and mm. I feel like sometimes Travis gets that country boy going, and um, right. I think that there's a high likelihood that all these people end up at the same. Oh, oh, that's, oh, the link is Miles Teller. Oh, yes, he did because they're both Top, in, Gun, Top Gun, Miles yeah, yeah. Teller, Friends, you know, whatever, mm. that's the link. So I I, I think we have new a new member of the crew, and it's Glenn Powell. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. I would love if he made his way to an Aerosaur show, for sure. I would love, oh, I love Daisy, too. Yeah. I would love it. So we got to keep our eyes peeled for that. He really Great is movie. America's boyfriend. No, he really is. Like, yeah. I, if I see more a picture of him with his cute-ass dog, like, I'm going to explode. Like, it's he's so, just so cute. He's so cute. So charismatic, such a nice guy. Like yeah. obsessed with him. So um yeah, that was that's Twisters. Um I don't know why I Oh, America's boyfriend, Travis. Um yep. wait, I wanted to bring up a funny tweet I saw before we walked in here. Oh. From Jason. Oh. Jason uh may be feuding with um Big Mango. Oh. He doesn't like mangoes. I don't know. This is an inside joke that maybe I don't know, but Pop Base, of course, uh, mm. number one news source in the world. T tweeted today is National Mango Day with pictures of mangoes. Honestly, yum. I thought they were I'm baked potatoes at, fan, at first. I, I thought these were baked potatoes, yum. like loaded up baked potatoes when I first saw them. Jason says, "No, it isn't. 
It's just a regular ass Monday. Eat a mango if you want, but don't let big mango fool you into this nonsense. Oh. So Jason is like, yeah. I think he's either Travis anti- is at, he, he's at camp, right? Yeah. And Jason is not at camp because he's no. retired. First year retired. And he needs to fill his days with something. And it sounds like his crusade is big mango. Interesting. I, I wonder if he's against the mango specifically or if it's if he's against like the national days, you know, he might be against the national days. Yeah. And he might be against mangoes, too. He doesn't strike me as a mango guy. Uh, yeah, he doesn't either. And you know what? I don't really like mangoes either. I like mango flavor and I like, yeah, a, I, don't like mango. I like a mango margarita. Nope. Give me one margarita. I'm, I'm going to open, open my legs. legs. I'm no. not. I'm yeah. not a fruit gr- fruit flavored girl i like strawberries i like raspberries delish and blueberries delish but i'm not gonna go get like a strawberry margarita i'm always gonna get like a spicy marg or just a normal right mar, you, you know you like a you like a salty versus sweet when it yes, comes to your cocktails yeah, exactly definitely. i am i'm somewhere in the middle like with the but high I, noon i, I always sweet. go for like a, the lemon oh, or funny, the lime yeah. flavor like whatever. i go pineapple yeah like si- yeah, yeah yeah like i just can't do the pineapple. Uh, the most I can do is the, sh- uh, no, not the strawberry. The raspberry mm, sweet. The tequila one? Yeah, the know, tequila yeah. is not yeah. too sweet for me, which I like. Yeah, it's delish. I, I like them all, but the, um, yeah, the assault on big mango. my stomach. Yeah, I feel that. Well, it's like I can't have too many of them, you know? The yeah. only thing I can drink a million uh, uh, pineapple high noons. That I have Ooh, no, yum. there is no, the limit does not exist for me. But, um. The reason I bring up that tweet, again, reminding everyone that Jason is retired and seemingly bored. And I'm curious if he's feeling like, I wonder how he feels, mm, you know. I've heard that he's actually been super active. Oh. um, In the Eagles, like, sidelines, like, being very involved. People might think he might become a coach. (gasps) Oh, how fun would that be? Which would be awesome. Coach Kelsey. How fun. Yeah, it would be awesome. Oh, I hope that if that's what he wants, I hope that that's where, where yeah. it goes. Yeah, me that too. Would just be exci- that'd be wonderful. Yeah, I mean. All right, so he'll be at the game. He'll be there. Yeah, he'll definitely. He'll def- I, I just think there's too. He loves it too much. He's too invested totally. to give, to just give it up sh- like a uh, cold turkey like that. You know, totally like, agree. If he's not going to do commentary like the way that Tom and Greg Olson and stuff did after yep. they retired. Yep. I feel like coaching is he he, he could. He could turn some kids into some of the greatest um, offensive linemen ever because he's, he's so good. So yeah, his 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 insight is is very uh, needed. That's oh, that's exciting. Yeah, good for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Kelseys are. Oh wait, Kelsey's you know what else? Slang. You know what else too? Kelseys are slang. Did you mm. see? We didn't get to talk about it. I think it came out after we recorded. Uh, what? Kylie Kelsey. Um, mm. putting out her statement against the media who won't stop speculating over uh, whether or not someone's pregnant, yeah. her specifically. Yeah. She put out a video and was like, all right, you know, I'm gonna, just going to make a video and nip this in the bud. Um, my, like, need to, to, you know, clap back at things is, like, overpowering me, my self-control, whatever. I need to just get this out of here. I'm not pregnant. Uh, there have been news articles written about me for the last year and a half saying that I am pregnant, have been pregnant since my last baby. Yeah. It's fucked up when people say stuff like this. <sighs> she divulged that she at one point had a miscarriage before Wyatt, I believe mm. she said, and um, that it's just insensitive to be talking about these things. You don't know what's going on in someone's life and to speculate or to be the first person to report on it mm. is fucked up. Yep. And I think, um, you know, we see this all the time. It was happening with Taylor. It was happening. It happens with happens literally with everyone. every woman it's, that like wears a bathing insane. suit. Or no, like, it's insane. Wears it's like insane. a tight fitting dress. They're like, oh, pregnant. Makes it, no sense. Yeah, to I me. mean, I feel like we've I had this never. conversation a million times. It's yeah. just rude. It's 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 um, it's just disrespectful. Yeah, I think just yeah. to comment on a woman's body, you don't know. Yep. If she just was maybe eating good that day. Like, it really just doesn't matter. It literally doesn't. It's none of your business, and by it, the way. Yeah, it's no one's business <laughs> because you don't know. Even if she, even if that person is pregnant, they could, you know, lose that child in mm-hmm. the next week. They could lose a child in the next month. Like, it's a very sensitive topic. Extremely. Pregnancy is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. But it's something that should be, you know, cherished and something that your family. It's a pretty, pr- it's, it's, it's a, a private, private thing, thing to a certain yes, extent. It's a private thing, say, yeah. uh, you know, uh, up until you you personally want to share whatever you want to share about it. Like it's yeah, nobody it's just, else's. Yeah. Like it's just fucking stupid. It's just rude. So uh, proud of her. Proud of her for saying yeah. something like that. She said Kylie's it in a very, the best. yeah, she's the best. She said it in a very, um, just a very succinct way. Yeah, I pr- appreciate forward. her. Yeah, yeah. I just appreciate her. She's great. She's doing great things. The Kelsey's are just, they're, yeah. they're fabulous. They're Another wonderful. thing about um, the Kelsey Travis, I, I saw a funny tweet that was like, 
it's kind of perfect that the Chiefs fans and the Swifties have kind of combined because they really match each other's freaks. Oh, absolutely. Because these Chiefs fans were camping mm. outside like in the morning to get a spot for like their training camp to watch. Like, oh, is that why camp. I saw when he was walking in? He was like, thanks for coming out yes, to everybody there in the was morning. A huge wow. crowd of people. Like this is all just people to like watch them train, like watch them do like, wow. like practice basically. That's exciting though. No, it's so exciting. You know, that's but so fun. What I'm saying is that, I mean, Swifties, we do it for the concerts and stuff, but like that level of like love. Oh and, yeah. Is, like, and the fandom. Same, you know, like mm-hmm. it, it's, for I, sure. I respect it from the Chiefs fans. And I respect it from the Swifties, obviously. Absolutely. So I think it's funny, like, how there was a huge debate in the beginning, Swifties, NFL fans, you know, mm-hmm. again, this proves we're way more alike than people think. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and we always have been. Yeah. I think we drew that conclusion last year at some point, being like, Swifties are crazy, football fans are crazy, like, we just need to stay on our respective sides and, and appreciate each other's crazy versus, like... Um, get at each other's throats about it you yeah know? which was uh it was a good a good bridge across the aisle i think and yeah. now now we have it um what else is going on in their lives i feel you know we had we had uh gelson kieran gelson gherkin since we last spoke both of the concerts yeah right and then i um, have the uh surprise songs yeah, what were the here surprise songs? very good surprise songs but yeah they were good matches. we had superstar and invisible string on guitar which was very cute really cute um slut and false god on that piano. one is crazy and was travis so at that good. show that was his like maybe I think last so one. yeah he went night one and night two Got i don't it. think he was at night no three. i think because he yeah. was getting getting the hell out of there yeah. and, the, and then the internet was like broken and you know all right. the planes were all my fucked god up that was everything. crazy oh god um, so much going on in the world and then night two was speak now and hey steven and that's when she did like would they write a song for you yeah yeah nope. and she said nope yeah yeah um and we then she did on the piano this is me trying and labyrinth which was i love labyrinth beautiful you know i love that song. beautiful combo um so good. and then night three oh, was no. paper rings and stay 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 which is Cute. very sweet pray for madeline and yeah i know paper rings and yeah. it's time to go and better man just you know bravo um, bravo top to bottom i wanted to read i think i think you know these surprise songs spoke a lot about how she's feeling right now because Gelsa Gherkin, uh, Gherkin, I always say. I know we're Gelson Gieren, Kieran, Kieran, I Gelsen think Gelson Kieran, Kieran, Gelson Kieran is how it's technically said, but we've been saying Gelson Gherkin. Everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say Gelson Gherkin. Sorry. Yeah, Gelson Gherkin. Um, night one, lovingly. It was she did like the combo all along. There was some invisible string tying you to me, superstar. And then night two is I just wanted you to know I've fallen in love again. Yep. Night three, I'd marry you with paper rings, and you came in with a football helmet. Stay, stay, stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, cute. Just cutie, cutie. And and that's how it is. Like you know, he's going back to work. They're not gonna until she's on break. They're probably not gonna be able to see each other much. You know, because he's gonna be he's in training now for yeah. Like until the season starts, right? Like yeah. he's, that's it now. But I think preseason starts in August. And then the first game is like in like the first How long week is of September. Camp? How long is camp? I don't know, to be honest. Oh, so maybe he has an ex- a little bit of time. Yeah, maybe. I think it has to be like the first couple of weeks. And also like he's not going to play in any preseason games, but like I think True. he still has to be there. I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll have to see. Again, we don't know when they're going to see each other. You know, she might. we might be getting a lot more um, a lot more of these unhinged surprise song mashups when, she, when he like hasn't been to a show in a while. I feel like she does the crazier ones, you know? being like i miss you bitch get here now yeah come back be here you know vibes but um yeah that's just exciting exciting for everybody's busy everyone's busy everyone's doing their stuff everyone's busy living their life and this is how things go it's summer everyone gets so busy in the summer this is how things go and and we're just excited we're excited for all of them excited for everybody yeah um trying to think what else i we love the songs that she sang. What was I going to say? I like really Something. don't have like that oh, much oh. stuff. It's time to go is what I was thinking. Oh, of. love that song. It's time. To, of course, we love that song. We got we had a, another person singing that song. <laughs> I'll bring it up and we'll talk about it briefly. Another person singing that song. <laughs> Joe you Biden. It's Jover. <laughs> is the, run, the, is the right the, thing. Sometimes the run is the brave thing. thing. We've sometimes got sometimes giving up <laughs> is the, the right one thing. thing. That'll find, find you the right thing. thing. Yeah. It's Jover again. Two Jovers in one year. Two Jover summers in a row. That's <laughs> yeah. tough. 
two <laughs> two Joe Versa- like it's supposed to be Brad Summer, not yeah. another Joe Versa- <laughs> Summer. But like we've got Joe Versa- Summer two two summers in a row. Joe Biden stepped out, dropped out of the presidential race. It looks like we're getting Kamala Mamala in there. Yeah, and we're just gonna have to see how it goes. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> We're me, not a politics podcast. Yeah, we're I keep not a saying politics that. I've been podcast. saying that because I feel like people come for me all the time, and I'm like, I'm not. I I'm so no one wants detached. to hear the Taylor Watch girls. No, give their no one cares. Opinions. No one cares, yeah. and you shouldn't. By the way, you shouldn't care what we're saying. I know. I posted something at least on TikTok I am today, and people informed. are ripping me apart. Oh no, I just won't even. I yeah. won't even. The it's most fine. I talk about it is like, ugh, please. I'm I like, just yeah. It. It, to me, I'm just interested with how Taylor is going to go about. A this. lot of people calling for uh taylor's thoughts first of all she's busy right now give her a minute but also um she has historically supported uh the democratic nominee yeah kind of no matter who it is joe biden included um she's kind of that was I th- kind of recent think, though. Yeah, it was Joe, Joe no, was Hillary. Like the she's, only, she, well, was she Hillary too. She didn't. I don't think she openly said like go vote for Hillary, but she did. She was adamant about being like go vote. You know, mm, like that yeah. was the first year that she was really like popping off, being like go right, vote. Right. Right. But um, so we'll have to see. She, you know, it, it's it, complicated now. I think more it than just ever. Is sad that we live in a world where like Taylor Swift is yeah. like the reason that people think that Kamala may lose the election. That's like, that's where my where my anxiety lies, and I do have anxiety about this and. It's she has a level of influence, yeah. That, like, you know, we all drink the Kool Aid, we are in her cult, we Mm -hmm. are, we love it, we're down for the cause, whatever. And it's not that I wouldn't disagree with her politics because I don't, I I agree with the things she fights for, and I agree with the stances she has made before. Um, but it does feel now almost a little like if taylor swift endorses kamala then if you are a swifty who doesn't vote for kamala are you a bad swifty like that's kind of how like I, people are going to interpret it like that like that's yeah. how the, the the dumb people on twitter right. are going to be like okay well it's this and if you don't like what our, what our pop star likes then that's that yeah and i'm not saying that like we should be voting for Trump. like i fucking hate him no yeah. everybody hates him like he's an he's a, he's hilarious and he's high comedy and he's a reality tv star but besides that yeah. he's a he's a garbage human being we all know this but I, I worry about like at this point she can't not get involved I guess I just wish we could yeah, all it's it's a lose uh, it's a it's a lose lose it's just a, I feel like it's a lose lose situation I don't even like with talking her. about it like if that's what I'm saying like it's yeah. hard to even get the get the point I'm trying because to get it's such across a thin line like, like right. you really don't you really don't know like I don't know I just feel like if she says something about Kamala people are gonna be like well, Kamala did this and Kamala did that, and she's not actually a good person. Exactly, blah, blah. So exactly. So then it's going to be like, okay, so why are you endorsing this person? Which, that's what I'm saying. Which isn't untrue, but then also yeah. like it's like you have this, you have this like I also am starting to feel pressure as like a woman to be honest. Yeah. Like, we've got you know potential for first woman president here, and I don't. I'm not so jazzed. Like I'm kind of like this is how it's going to go. I know. Like Kamala, you know. Like, yeah. Not just, even not even just her as a person. I wish that it were like a fair like. Th- it, doesn't feel right because she was right. just kind nothing of put about into the, the yeah spot. nothing like, about it feels right it kind of feels like we're pulling wool over eyes and and i just wish where are the where are the the young hot po- political like potential presidents out here men and know. women where they, the fuck are you everyone have... i knew in college was like a political science major yeah. where the fuck are you now yeah. like <laughs> it's time come they out they probably like don't have it's ridiculous them, like, it's well it's because politics are just so fucking corrupt I know. and I like know. it's never going to be not old white men because it's just oh, like oh i know whatever. it's the yeah. worst it's, it's just horrible because it's it's big companies that fund these people yeah. th- because of what they want yeah it's just enough it's it's it that's what makes me feel very defeated when it comes to politics i feel Absolutely. like i was like in 2020 i was super super into politics oh, very God. vocal that's like a, cra- a crazy year to get involved i know i, I, I think not. that's it, that's more i've always been off or no it wasn't 2020 sorry it was 16? um yeah more 2016 and then the real i guess 2020 was the re-election yeah or, yeah so like the re-election is what really um well it was a crazy year it. it was i mean it was the most insane year yeah like 2020 was the craziest year and now it just like it just feels <laughs> so defeating to be like into it and like try to like yeah. push things and you know, get your voice out there because it's like, oh, like, does it even fucking matter? It does. Yeah. Doesn't feel like it, but it does. Yeah. And yeah, just it's there's there's people in politics that I think have a bright future, 
like uh, Jack Slosberg. <laughs> oh my God, we're obsessed with him. <laughs> Obviously, him. everyone's obsessed obsessed yeah. with uh, with Jack, Jack Sl- yeah. Slosberg, yeah. the um, JFK's the grandson. new yeah JFK's grandson slash the new um, Vogue political yeah, correspondent. Yeah, yeah. And he he honestly, I've I've looked at his looked at what he's been working on, and it is digestible. And he's clever and funny, and yeah. like, you know, I like him a lot. But um, th- this this will be a problem that we'll have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's like, what we're gonna sucks have to talk about it. It is. It when, is. Whenever she, if and when, yeah, she says something about it, is we're gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, I, I, which whatever. You know, either way, I won't be upset if she does or if she doesn't. Um, I pray but, she doesn't. Just just for my my and her own sanity, I just kind of pray she doesn't. Mm. I think that, I think, I don't know. I kind of am like, I know where she leans. Like, I don't need her to tell me. Yeah, that's I know so how she true. feels. Miss Americana, we watched it. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times does she have to come out and say that she supports women's rights and she supports, like, of course, we know this, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. But we'll just have to see. It's, I just, I, I feel like. It's tough. It's tough. And I, I, please take everything we just said with a grain of salt. Like, we really don't oh, yeah, know please. what we're talking please about. Please, please, we don't. So. And I've said it a million times. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I am one of those people that, like, you would, you would roll your eyes if you heard me ever talk. Like, it's just, I have no, no skin in the game. I, I wish I was, like, an NPC when it comes yeah. to this kind of shit. Like, I wish that just, I wish, I, I wish I didn't, you know, I wish I wasn't there. Yeah. I, I wish nothing happened. Like, I just wish, I don't know. Tough. Agreed. Tough stuff. So, yeah, please don't come for us. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please. Please. We're just girls. We're just girls. Um, anything else? Um, kind of no, a slow weekend, really, no, I just, uh, I had just three little tidbits. One, oh. um, Leah from Love Island she oh, yeah, posted you, you that she was listening to You're On Your Own Kid mm. and her first day out of the villa, which I appreciated. I did not think that she would be a Swifty, and she just doesn't give Swifty vibes, mm. and I appreciate that she is. Love. Um, Eminem and did Taylor's chart oh, run. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about this. Oh, and Anne Hathaway at the show. Mm. All Anne our Hathaway. fun stuff in the beginning. I was it was wasted by me m- m- rambling because I didn't want to talk about politics. And I was in a yeah. bad mood. Um, Anne was at the show. Anne was at the show. She's a rep stan. Major she, rep stan. She had a very nice message to send mm-hmm. to um, Taylor after the show. She posted on her story. Thank you, phenomenal, moving, powerful, fearless Taylor Swift. Huge shout out to the incredible Eras crew. Best picture rap celebration ever. Very cute. You know what that she was really kind of reminded me of just now is that the rumors that the uh, I'm weeping in a party bathroom. Some actress asking me what happened to you. Mm. Everyone thinks that was Anne Hathaway. I thought everyone thought that it was um, not Natalie Portman. People think it was Anne because they were in a movie together that oh. came out around the time that Taylor and, and Jake were dating. Was, I always Love thought there was someone else. Movie. Party. I forget who it was. That I saw. I don't know. The rumors I heard were that they were Anne. Always. I could see because, Anne being some great. Which would be good. But let's see. When did Love and Other Drugs come out? Oh, Jake and Anne. That's right. what I'm saying. 2010 fits right in. So that's people were saying that Anne Hath that Taylor was at um, a party, whatever, with Jake Gyllenhaal. She's uh, weeping in the party bathroom, some actress asking me what happened to you, and then the actress was Anne, and the reason that Anne would have been there is because it was, like, their movie, or, like, they were coming, you know, it was, like, around that same time. Like, why oh, would both maybe Taylor it was Jennifer Anne... Aniston? Yeah, it was Jennifer Aniston that oh, people were speculating. we're but, saying that? But there's that, some pe- to me, doesn't make there's sense. some people saying Anne Hathaway, too, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jen Aniston, though, she could say some, she's a she's a powerful, uh, you know, she's a, a strong bitch who's been wronged by a man publicly many there times. There were rumors that in 2011, someone saw Jen Aniston in at the people's choice awards encouraging taylor after she broke up with jake oh however one of jennifer's friends confirmed that she was not the actress taylor talked about in the song interesting i thought i'd like to believe that it's Anne yeah, because too. i i've always liked to uh to believe they have that connection so Anne went had a great time fabulous i um, love her what so was the other thing you said leah and then there was Eminem. one in the middle m m yeah um okay well everybody can you know put your fucking torches and pitchforks down <laughs> yeah, the yeah. long national nightmare is over yeah, right. taylor's been ousted is everyone gonna be okay now yeah, like right. fucking chill and you know good good for m m Comes out with a new album. Ugh, hasn't come out with an album in Eminem. forever. What? What do you mean? You hate Eminem? Yeah. Why? Because he's a freakazoid. No, he's not. Yes, he he's is. just old now. He rapped about punching women and killing them and beating them and he said the F slur. I don't like him when, at all. When? In new music? No, in his old stuff. From like 2010? 2005? 
I no, 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 no. You're you're too young to understand his he Eminem. I will stand by Eminem. That he has some fucked up songs. Obviously, I will stand by Eminem until until the day I die. He's he's a, a genius. He's a lyrical genius, and he's I'm a complicated him guy. Him. He's a complicated guy, <sighs> and uh, and you don't want that smoke. You don't want that Eminem smoke. That's you crazy know what? for you. Don't say that shit outside. Don't say really, that in front of all those boys. Eminem- Everyone, I, you were the first person I've ever heard to be like, I, "Ew, I hate Eminem." I hate Eminem. Like I thought it was a, I thought it was like a joke. Like he made an album that was like kind of joking, like, "Oh, Gen Z wants to cancel me." Like I thought that was a joke. I was like, "No, Gen Z who hates the fuck him, and I hate, do. Who I hates still him? hate him. Sorry, but I don't mm, support that." Mm. Yeah, but he's telling stories. He's a freak. He is a freak, but it's a whole thing. No, no, no. You need to, you need to get the lore on Eminem. You need to get the lore on Eminem. Mm, you don't, don't think, know enough. You don't know enough. I don't know. You don't. But he uh, he came out with his album. I have a feeling that this will be probably one of the last albums Eminem ever comes out with. Thank like God. he's he's up there, <laughs> <laughs> he's up there, and he's getting a little tired. He's doing the same thing. But uh, you know, he it was like a it was also like a concept album. Like half of the album was him being this this like asshole character that they portrayed him. That's his whole thing. His he Slim Shady is not Marshall Mathers Eminem who he is as a person. But Slim Shady is this dick bag rapper character that he that like the media wanted him to be during the MTV eras. Mm. And so he made these songs and he's talking about all this shit. He's making like the songs are all like him making fun of, you know, what people expect him to be. Right. That's like his, a lot of his, a lot of his uh, his stuff. And then this concept album, which I think is kind of smart for him or you're not know, kind of actually where the beginning is all his like fucked up stuff him as slim shady whatever and then he like retroactively kills himself and is like i'm sick of this shit like that's not everyone's bored of that guy everyone no one cares about that guy so that's like the album the new album is like we're we're done with that chapter of life i'm mm. not marshall i'm not slim shady anymore i'm a 50 year old man my daughter just got married you know what i mean like mm. he's a he's an adult now and um but you know highly anticipated everyone was kind of giving him shit whether it was gonna be good or not i t- personally i have not listened to a single second of it yet i just haven't had the time and i haven't been in a rap mood i honestly stopped liking i'm not a rap girl i, I don't listen to rap a lot i uh, sometimes we'll get into it eminem really is like one of the only artists i ever listened to growing up besides like lil wayne i guess and um so I think if anybody's taking it, fine. I'm fine with Eminem. You know, whatever. I am. I can't believe that you hate him so much. I really don't like him. You've never. You don't like the song, the real Slim Shady. Like you don't like that song. You don't know every word of that song. No, I know the song. Like, of course, I know the song. When did you start hating Eminem? Because everybody told you to start hating Eminem. No, <laughs> because I watched this crazy ass documentary about him and his a documentary. Yeah, it was like something about. Okay, well, first it happened with the Stan thing with like Stan. Stan is a and, crazy like, song. Is his Stan song and is Kim? So crazy. Stan and Kim are crazy Kim? songs. We know. No, no, like that's not okay <laughs> to say ever. Like Kim? what? Yeah, like why? Why is that just like, oh, like he's changed, like whatever. Like, no, no, you know that that's not, it's not real. He definitely beat her. No, he didn't. Kim? Yes. They got divorced, but they had a fucked up, like, no, 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 no. He grabs her like going to kill her there's and too stab much, her. There's and... too much lore. They lived in the most fucked up part of Detroit and had like this awful yes, life. Yes, I've seen Eight You've Mile. seen Eight Mile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. You've seen Eight Mile. But his, like, the songs that he writes are, like, yes, he's involved in some fucked up shit. But, like, I don't I don't know if there were ever actually, like, dom- we would have known if there were, he would have been way canceled oh. if there were actual domestic violence going on in his house. Like, that was not, that was not. Listen, I wouldn't be sticking. Her and I wouldn't be sticking up for him so hard if I car. didn't know that he wasn't actually a bad oh, guy. Oh, and it was the Christina Aguilera shit that really pissed me off oh, about him. Uh, wait, their beef about her, and he was so mean about her, and said that he wanted to like beat her up and like kick her in the face and all this crazy stuff in the early 2000s. Yes. I'm dying that you're like riding. You're, you're, you you want to hate Eminem so bad that you want to ride for Christina Aguilera 20 years later, 25 okay, but years later. But like. No, no. He said him and Christina. I'm gonna, I'll give you some. I'll give you a history lesson because I was there. Uh, Christina Aguilera and Eminem had beef because they like hooked up or something. Eminem was also a fuckboy. Like he was a fuckboy at the time. He dated Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey wrote obsessed about Eminem. Yeah. And um and which is one of her great songs. And then he wrote like a clapback song. But he was a guy who was like a smooth operator. Would always talk to like the other pop stars, but in reality was not actually a bad guy. It was just kind of like his bit. Like almost like everyone was like, oh, he's an asshole. He's whatever. But then he rubbed some of the girls the wrong way because he'd be like oh like I can get with these girls no matter what like I'm this I'm this like you know I'm this guy and I'm the shit and whatever and he wrote in one of his songs 
uh, lyrics about Christina Aguilera, um, like, you know, getting around. Right. It was like what he, he the, the lyric is, Christina Aguilera mm-hmm. better switch me chairs. She, she can sit next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst and hear them argue over who she gave head to first, is mm. like the lyric. And um, and obviously, up you know, up in arms, whatever. And then I think he also, like, offhandedly, I don't know all the lyrics to all of his songs, but I think he said something similar about Britney Spears. He was just like, Talking about, I don't know, nothing wor- any worse or better than anyone else at the time. And since then, that's not really his bag. But I don't know. I w- I'll ride for Eminem because I know that he's a theatrical person and he's a storyteller and he's a shock jock guy. Like yeah. he says shocking things and does shocking things. But he has never like actually been a piece of shit. Like that's the whole thing is that he grew up in like the worst situation ever and pulled himself out of it and now he's like a you know he's like a normal person he became a star and now he's you know as normal as he can be Mm, yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't know i promise i promise listen this is that's that's tiktok that's tiktok trying to rewrite history trying to rewrite history that is not how it went down and i was there i was watching all those vmas i was watching all the nickelodeon kids choice awards at that time and it was like scandalous but it was not any more scandalous than like you know uh, you know Miley and Nikki like that's the level of like hate it was at right. like, they, they actually that was more intense than Eminem and Christina Aguilera's feud right. like Miley what's good was shook the world more than that you know what I'm saying right. like that's like it was so such a non-issue yeah, but he I did he I did talk shit in love... songs he talked that's like his yeah, whole thing he talked shit in songs I don't really love the idea of him rapping about that even though he maybe he never did any of 25 it 25 years ago yeah, but still, Kelly, like, still, like... I know, but that's the thing, is, like, it's still now, today, crazy. if he came out with a song today saying that same shit, I'd be like, ew, that's fucked up. 25 years ago, bitch, like, Eminem was the least of our worries. Like, yeah. the stuff that people were saying was, was like, the other rappers and stuff, like, he was... Even he wasn't taken seriously at the you know, beginning because he was like white guy rapper. I don't think Eminem should be like, or anything. No, I, I no, don't, no. I, I, and I don't, I don't care that people are fans of him or anything. I just don't mm. really like him. I just never have, and I don't think I ever will. I feel bad about that. I feel bad that I, I think that, uh, I feel bad that there are people that don't that don't like him for reasons I don't think are warranted. Mm. Similar to Taylor. Listen, yeah, I ride for my true. people. That's I ride true. for my people, and I, I'm an Eminem fan. I and didn't if, realize you were such a stan. Well, I just, I, I, cause I know that he's a performer and I mm. think that he also got lost in the sauce and, you know, guys love him and people, you know, it's, yeah. he's like a, a, just a rap guy, which, which I get, but no, I was, you know, I was liking his daughter's Instagram post the other day. She just got married. Listen, I Haley. love his daughter. Haley his daughter Jane. went to Michigan State. She's mm-hmm. Spartan. Go green. So I love They're her. Michigan people. Yeah. He's Detroit from, yeah, City. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. You know. I need, maybe I need to read up on, on Marshall. Read up on Marshall. Cause yeah. I'm telling you, he's not, he, He's a good, he's a good guy. He's okay. a good guy. Okay. As far as I can, no one has ever said to me otherwise. I've never noticed otherwise, apart from the theatrics of the bullshit and whatever. But like even the industry, like people, I've never heard anybody talk okay. shit about Eminem in the industry. Like he's a he's a a good guy. But regardless, the only reason we're even talking about Eminem for an hour is because <laughs> yes, his new album ousted Taylor. And again, I'm I'm thankful. Yeah, I'm it's very fine. thankful for that. Because I just, Gia, could not hear one yeah, more the week of people complaining. Shit is so I couldn't. Complaining. Oh I my couldn't God, hear blah, it blah, blah. I'm thrilled. Good for Glad him. she broke a record with yeah. 12. She broke yeah. a record. She got I, It would have been nice to, to be 13, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. 12. Good for her. She broke her own record. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just like, it, it'll finally put this topic of, ah, oh, she's blocking CDs, blah, 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 out. That's uh, what I'm put saying. Put it to rest. I can't do nice. it anymore. So thank you for that, Eminem, I guess. If, if yes. I have to thank you for anything, <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you for that. I um, also, too, like, she just hasn't been, you know, she wasn't, uh, not that she wasn't, like, pushing it, because she really wasn't the following weeks, but it just, it tapered off. I think it yeah. tapered off at the right time. I think it's fine. We're good. Moving on. Can't hear anything else about it. Um, big conversations already happening about the Grammys next year for albums, the albums oh, that will I be up. Even imagine. It's we be can't even get bath. into it. It's going to be a bloodbath. Um, but before we go, I just would like to say a thank you to Chapel Roan, who, um, even though her album came out in 2023, yeah. I feel like it should come up this year as well, <laughs> because I think at this point she wins for me. Yeah. I am so... I wonder if she'll be nominated for like Best New Artist. I would love. Oh, yeah. I would love. Who else would be in there? It wouldn't be Sabrina. She's been around too long. I, I think Tate McRae. Apparently, she can't oh, be yeah, nominated Tate for it. Tate can't be. Yeah, she can't because apparently the the hmm. Grammys like rules are very weird. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I think I saw something about that. Her not being able to be nominated for best new artist. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Her uh, Chapel. Hmm. 
That's an interesting thing. Maybe I wouldn't Sabrina. have thought about that. Also, I think Tate McRae, love her for sure. Doesn't stand a chance against Chapel Roan. No, no, like no. not, not even. I close. like Tate McRae. I do too, but Chapel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapel. Every, uh, Chapel blows she's had her water. moments now. Yeah, like yeah, her yeah, mo- yeah. Her moment is now. just musically wise too. Too also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's fantastic. But um, but yeah. So the past couple of days, I've been I've been hitting Chapel hard. Um, I've I've liked her for a while. We've talked about her on the pod, whatever. And I think it's just it took me a little bit of time to really get into the music and listen to the lyrics and everything. And I just oh my god, she's so a, fabulous, she's wonderful. Mm. She's so good. So if you're not already on that train, you should get on it. I'm at I'm at the Pink Pony Club right now. That's Ooh. me. Pink Pony Club and Casual Wait, are my uh, are my number ones today. Oh, I feel like <laughs> my Kink is Karma is like your song. I like my Kink is Karma, yeah. but I the other songs for some reason are are I'm I'm making my way down the list. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I've got new obsessions like every other day i've listened to my pink is, or my kink is karma today and i do like it but what really put me on um also good luck babe obviously oh yeah yeah so good but what put me on good luck babe i posted it on my story yesterday you are um, you won't be able to see it anymore now at this point when this comes out but it was a video of these two guys singing a slow version of good luck babe it Ooh. was like what song is really sad when you kind of think about it and then they start singing yeah. good luck babe in like a slow tone it is sad. and it's like the, i mean i started crying hysterically i was like this is this is so yeah. beautiful wait i'll show you right now well because the whole song is like like so when you like good luck with your man like you know bars. that you like actually like women like but you're that is the that is the tough part of the that is the tough part of the song for me i i try to interpret it in like a way of like good luck with your man like no i don't know there really you is could no also, other way to like interpret, a way you can it. interpret it maybe like good luck with your person that like you think is like the right choice right, for you right. like the easy choice whatever that's, like that's where i'm at you'll always regret completely not going with you know the twin flame. I don't know how I was how I was interpreting it. I was singing it in a way of like I don't know how I was singing it. I was singing it in a harp way. way. In the Kelly way. In the Kelly way. I was singing it in a harp way. I'll, I'll get back to you guys on yeah. how I was singing it, but here. I'm just gonna play it out loud. I love these. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make you listen to the whole thing. Well, this is very intimate. Like, they're very close. Well, they're, like, performers. They do this all the time. Oh, okay. Beautiful. We're listening to the whole thing. The whole thing? No, it's not the whole thing. It's it's over soon. It's after this. Call baby, you can kiss a hundred boys in bars. Shoot. We're going to get copyrighted. Oh, are we? Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. (laughs) Okay, you're right, you're right. Anyway, so that's that. Even with a even with a cover, yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah, they're anyway, so strict with that stuff. It's so annoying. Like even Damn. like I feel like sometimes even when we sing, we sometimes get copyright. <laughs> I know because we're because so we're close to the so original. gorgeously right. beautiful singing. Right. That they're like, oh my god, this we're must so, be Taylor. We're too close to the original. Yeah, yeah. Right. God, that's so I hate it. I hate I it. I know. Again, copyright. The man. The man is coming to get us all. Um. All right. I think that is. I think that just does that it. just about covers it. Yeah. You know. Taylor's life, Travis back at camp, fight about Eminem. Political. <laughs> Political. It's yeah, great. Was that our first like disagreement about something? Maybe. I, I also went a little hard because I, because I, like I said, I don't, I feel bad for it. That's everywhere. okay. You, I feel you bad ride for, for your, you ride for your people and, and I, I feel bad. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, I yeah, don't, yeah. if anything, maybe you might've skewed my opinion a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Like, and yeah. if it comes out that I'm wrong and, and he, and he's been beating women all this time, but like, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be propping him up if that were the case. Like, I know that he didn't do anything wrong. So, <laughs> so now I'm I like, fuck, like, yeah. like I know him no. personally, but no, no, no. Yeah. It's, um, that I think it has entirely to do with like, you had to be there. Like you had to be there during the rise of Eminem. Like he right. was, you were too young for sure. You yeah. wouldn't have been allowed to I think to so. I think even Fran, but, I think might've been too young. Like it yeah. was, it was you know because what she's three four years younger than me i think and mm. it, and i was young like when eminem mm. was the was the hotness i was not allowed we can't get back into it when, <laughs> when, I, when he was the hotness my cousins my older cousins were really into it mm. and my mom wouldn't let me listen to it and my cousins let me mm. and i got really into it and then my dad like got me a cd on the side like al- along with like blink 182 like he my oh, dad always yeah. let me you know he he knew that i needed to have my finger on the pulse i couldn't be a fucking loser right like obviously. not knowing music but like um without me by eminem came out and yeah, it was of course. like it's like i love fucking, those songs like, you know what like, i mean yeah, when i was yeah, like i don't yeah. know six seven I don't even know how old I was I must have been older than that ten no idea but it was like I was young Wait, as do you know fuck. the song Mockingbird by him yeah of course I like do that do song do do yeah do 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 do. I'm gonna break that on his neck yes yeah, I'm gonna buy a diamond ring for yeah, you yeah, I'm gonna sing for you yeah but when he's doing that voice yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mockingbird don't say my, my friend shout out Tony she went through a very intense Eminem phase when we were like 
in eighth grade, I think. Of seventh course. grade, she would make me watch that music we video all like all the fucking time. The the concern lies with the people that love like those songs too much. Like if you love like Kim too much, right? Then right. it's like, what's your problem? Right. If you like Stan too much, what's it? Well, Stan is a Stan, Stan is a fucking is, crazy song. In another university or <laughs> university in another universe. Stan is um, I can do it with a broken heart. You know, it's all about it's about a fan. Yeah, that it like goes crazy on. Yeah, it. and I can do it with a broken heart is all these fans. They want more. They want more. I want to die. Like it's just you yeah. Know, it's a, they, they, everyone has their version. Everyone has their interpretation of rabid fans. Yeah, that mm-hmm. shit's crazy. He's like my wife's pregnant. Like. I'm mm-hmm. gonna like I love you. Hey, hey, M. My yeah, wife's yeah. pregnant. Blah blah. Yeah, that's from crazy. the perspective of this crazy yeah, yeah, fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, it's. Go- I'm gonna now. I gotta go back. Now I gotta go back and yeah, and, shit. and give uh, and give I proper like got, proper. I just got ups. chills from that a little bit. <laughs> what the stand? Because it's so it's crazy. A, it's a creepy. It's a creepy song. song. It's a creepy way, but yeah. it's like lyrically, he's just you know so what it kind of, it smart. Reminds me of. Like, just, wait, have you listened to Billy's album yet? Um. Y- yes. Yes. And the no. diner. If anything, yeah. it's more like yeah. the diner than yeah. it is I can do it with a broken heart that is because a good point. it's from that the perspective of like the stalker. So true. So, so creepy. So true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking more like like people like crazy fans. wanting crazy yeah, yeah, fans yeah, yeah, wanting yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah, totally. That is so way more spot on. Yes, yeah, way more totally. spot on. Um, anyway, so whatever. Yeah. Do do you know? Do your research. Do your history on Eminem if you're yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and and you won't don't be upset. Don't let TikTok. Yeah, don't let, t- don't let TikTok ruin your brain. Or else I'll, call, I'll fucking knock on your door and I'll tell you otherwise. I'll give you a lesson. Yeah. But um, but yeah, let's just all let's go into uh, we'll go into the rest of the week with yeah. better vibes. I promise I'll have better vibes on Wednesday. <laughs> I really don't just promise suck something. The that you life can't. out of this. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. On Wednesday, like, I'm in the fuck your face. And I'll be the one that's like I'm gonna kill everyone. Exactly. Yeah, it's so exactly. it's always something. Well, I'll we'll tap dance through it and it'll be fine. Yeah. But remember that Wednesdays are our call-in episodes, our favorite episodes. So yes. um, first, make sure that you are following us or subscribe yes. on YouTube Rumble all the places where you can subscribe please 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 subscribe especially to our video channels that is tremendous for us so just please please do that if you can and um, you know subscribe to the pod everywhere else and if please. you want to call in or text and leave us a message or a text about what's going on questions that you have theories thoughts anything like that you can go ahead and call Three four seven four five zero zero seven two three. Three four seven four five zero zero seven two three. Leave a voicemail or text us please. or message the Taylor Watch account. Yes, please. We are following it. We are watching it, and we love to hear from you guys. We look forward to uh, Thursday's episode and hope you enjoyed this one. And it didn't put you in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Love you. <laughs>